Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a great day. Today I'm going to show you how I went from this Darjeeling to this Darjeeling. I hope you all have a wonderful Halloween. If you're not sure why I have two copies of this Darjeeling figure or you just want to see me unbox her, I've got a video up about that, so go ahead and check that out if you're interested. Without further ado, let's begin the speed paint. I started by painting a bunch of the white black to fit the Halloween theme. I started painting the skirt black as well just to give it a base. When doing the apron, I decided to leave the Gloriana symbol, at least in the beginning, just so I knew whether or not I really wanted it, figured I could paint over it later, which, as you'll see later, does end up happening. And now I'm back to finishing painting the black on the skirt. The orange that I mixed for this figure was very close to the yellow, but as you'll see as I layer it over and over and over again, it is a bit more orange than the yellow that was already on the figure. Also for the record, I am using thinned acrylic paints and I mixed the colors myself, so that's why I'm just taking straight out of the jars for the most part. It is actually thinned paint. And here I start playing around with what parts I want to be green versus the purple. Even though I had somewhat of an idea what I wanted to do going into this, I didn't have the entire thing planned out and knew I was going to be doing extra layers over top of extra layers of different colors, which is the nice thing about paints. You can always just paint over it when it looks hideous. <laughs> Thinning your paints is important so that way when it dries it looks much smoother. However, it does mean that you have to put a bunch of layers over top of one another. The other thing is that it does dry pretty quick. As you'll see, I worked on this figure throughout three days, so everything you're seeing with the similar background and camera angle was all done in the same day at the same time, with minimal drying in between, like maybe a minute or so. And here I'm painting the bow this purple. I ended up kind of falling in love with this purple as I was painting with it, and I was like, oh, I should use a bunch of it. But ultimately, this will be changed because there was just a little bit too much purple and a little too little green. And just layering up on the paint, you can now kind of see that the orange is more of an orange than the yellow that was already there. Mm -hmm. 
And going over with the brown for the skirt again, this brown needed a lot of coats and you'll see in the end that I end up mixing a different brown that looks much better. But having this initial coat of this brown definitely helped because, you know, it took a bajillion coats to get it to be pretty opaque. I also decided I wanted to add a little bit of extra detail that wasn't on the original. While the original had stripes of yellow, I wanted to go ahead and add a stripe of black. So this was just me freehanding the little line that I would eventually go in and make look much better than it currently is. And at this point I also decided I didn't want the Gloriana symbol, mostly because of the white in the symbol. I found it to be kind of distracting overall and kind of not fit the theme. Also kind of unnecessary, really. <laughs> The ribbons of the bow were actually super easy to lift up too, and they went back down perfectly in space, so I'm, I'm very grateful that those were flexible. <laughs> that way I could paint under them. Oh yes, and the collar. This was a lot of trial and error. At first I was like, oh, let's make it purple, because again, as I said, I ended up loving this color purple. But this collar is going to change to a few colors before the time we're done. I did another layer for the stripe of the orange over the black line I had created as an outline. This was just to give it a little bit more of a smooth appearance and extend the line, giving it, you know, another, another layer, not having to worry too much. The black's very opaque and covers basically in one go, so I wasn't too worried about that. And now our collar is brown to match the skirt, which again, will we'll change, because I cannot make up my mind. <laughs> And finally, I start painting the collar black. Well, you can tell I take a moment because I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing and decide I'm going to go ahead and paint this little bow purple, which I think looks really good, by the way. And then I commit to the black. <laughs> and I actually do commit to the color this time. It does remain black, but yeah, a lot of this was trial and error just because I didn't have too much of a plan other than, hey, these are the colors I want to use. Painting these little hand things ended up being very difficult. I cut the footage, but I did have to wipe her wrist down over and over and over again because of the way that the frills actually laid. And I do at first paint the entire thing black except for the little stripe of orange, but eventually I'll go back in and add some purple to it to give it a little bit of extra detail. And now I'm painting the socks. As you can see from this shot, I also at this point had fixed up the lines of the skirt quite a bit. I did that off camera just to make sure it turned out very good, very straight. For the socks, I kind of winged it. Same with everything else on the shoes. It was more of just getting something down there so that way it wasn't white. Thank you. 
And now to the final day of painting, day three, I did her little, I'm gonna call it a tiara, I know that's not what it's called, in black, and I started painting the other cuff, which was going to be more annoying because the tray is attached to her hand. I added another layer to our very beautiful stripes now, and I have to say, I am so happy with how these stripes turned out. I really do feel like it adds just a little bit of extra detail that makes the figure look just a little bit, little bit better. Plus, it looks a little bit more Halloween-y to me. I don't know why the purple right next to the orange with the black, it just very, to me, it screams Halloween. I thought that making the teacup have a different color inside than the outside is also very Halloween-y. I don't know why. I've had cups like that before and I've always thought they're really pretty and cool. So went ahead and made the inside of it purple and the outside black. And here I'm just touching up little areas. So now the bow on the back is green as well as the fabric that holds the bow because theoretically her apron would be all together one color so it makes sense that that would be green and then her skirt would be purple. And here you can see that I mixed a different brown completely and decided to go over the brown that was there. This was to try and get it to match a little bit better with the belt that was left as well as her shoes. For whatever reason, the spray I sprayed her down with before painting left a little bit of a mark. I'm not really sure why, but it kind of left a white mark on the tray, so I wanted to fix that. Next, I'm just finishing up the teacup and the plate that goes with it. I decided to do orange for the plate, again, to add just a little bit of that Halloween flair. I also wanted to go ahead and put her together just to see how everything was coming together and what else I need to do. And this is where I realized that I should probably put some more brown on the collar to make the bow stand out. And these are the final results. I did add some detail to her little, again, I'm gonna call it a tiara. I know this is not a tiara, <laughs> her little headpiece. I added those little details back in, but did that off camera because that was a little difficult. And overall, I really love how she turned out. She's by far my best paint job. This is the first time I've actually like properly thinned paints correctly. And I do think she looks fantastic. Are there little details that I could probably fix up and make her look more legit of course that's always going to exist with any project that you do on your own <laughs> but honestly if this is where i am now i'm very happy with my progress of painting i do of course love the original figure as well but this was a really fun project and i absolutely love how she turned out so anyways i hope you all enjoyed the speed painting i hope you all have a wonderful halloween and i'll see you all next time bye